to give some thought to having your books done in audiobook? Do you know how? Do you know what to do? Well, my partner in crime here, Cindy McDonald, she has been going through some stuff with her audiobooks. So she's going to tell us what's been happening with her, with her audiobooks, and give us some pointers and tips and tricks and you know, and do a little bit of venting along the way too. So, so Cindy, start venting. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I, I'm really not venting so much as uh, I, 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 my books, my Fiona Quinns and my, um, oh, my first force books are on audiobook. Uh, when I was a romantic suspense writer, they they were put on audiobook. Not all five of them, are. and but all of the Fiona Quinns and all of the Owl's Nest mysteries have been put on, have been recorded. Mm -hmm. and, and you use different, and you use different narrators for for each one. And tell. well, not well. I use different first, narrators for force first force. For force. And, and then once I, oh, even my George books, my George the Pony books are narrated. But anyway, yeah. that's that's beyond the, yeah. anyway, so we, back in 2016, this one right here, talked me into <laughs> putting Fiona Quinn on the audiobooks. And I think actually Fiona Quinn was the first that went on audiobook. Then I did the first force books. Yeah. Well, she said, come on, Cindy, it'll be okay. And I'm like, oh, God, oh, God. It'll be okay. So I put out the book for audition. And I said, nobody's going to audition for this book, Lauren. Nobody's going to. 15 minutes later, I had wonderful auditions. And this is where I found the most fabulous narrator. And her name was Marin Swenson Waxenberg. This woman was a true talent. She did voiceovers for ABC movies, Saturday Night Live. She did commercials. She had a wonderful voice. And she lived in New York City. No, no, no. Her address wasn't New York City. She lived in New York City. She lived like on the corner of Broadway and 82nd or something like that. I don't know. And she, and she did it for royalty share. Too. I'm getting there. Yeah, she did yeah, a royalty so. share. Now that's where the interesting thing, you gotta know what you're doing when you sign up for audio, um, having your books turned into an audio book. But anyway, back in November, this past November, sadly, my good friend and wonderful narrator, Marin Swenson Waxenberg suffered a heart attack and she died at the age of 55. I was, as her family, I'm sure, I was absolutely devastated. And I I didn't know what to do. And I told Lauren, I, I just don't think, I. and she was the voice of Fiona Quinn since 2016. And How she, many books had she done? She had done 11 books. 11 books for you. And yeah. then she had done four books for um, the Owl's Nest Mysteries, as a matter of fact, Lauren died two weeks after the latest Owl's Nest mystery, a felonous finale, was released. And so I, I mean, she didn't even get to really enjoy, you know, being that narrator for that book. And it, it, I was devastated. And I told Lauren, I, you know, I just... I, I don't want to go through the process of looking for a new narrator. We can't replicate what this wonderful woman did all of the accents. I mean, my books have Russians, Indians, um, Irish people, you name it. We ha I have done those people, Caribbean people. Um, we have done all of those accents within Fiona Quinn and Owl's Nest. She said, come on, Cindy, you've got it. You know, you've just got to keep moving forward, Mary. Why don't you? She would want me to. And it took me many months to decide, okay. So I waited till after the holidays and I started my search for a new narrator to replace my dear friend, who I have only met one time. So I put the book, I put, um, it's Murder by the Stroke. That was the new 
Fiona Quinn book that had just released, I think November 1st, it released. Yeah. And um, she, I put, I put it out there. And I always do royalty share. What is royalty share? Royalty share is when you hire a narrator, they narrate the book, and then you share half your royalties with this individual. And it's I just, always do that. I've been doing that since for years. Years. we both yeah. have many, many authors have. And it's the most economical way for an author to produce their book in audio. Well, then they have this thing called royalty share plus. And the royalty share plus program is you pay the narrator to to do your book and then you give them half your royalties. <laughs> And it's like, and oh, how much do they generally charge? $200 to $400 per finished per hour. hours. Per, per finished. finished hours. Now, Murder by the Stroke is seven hours long in an audiobook. Do the math, people. Oh. That, that is in, in, in between $200 and $400 per finished hour. <laughs> Totally. My books are like 11 hours, 10 to 11 hours. Right. So. <laughs> that is, you will never be able to recover that money, no matter how well your audio book sells. Unless it not. sells over a million copies. Yeah. You know, you're not going to recover that money. So anyway, so... I, I, I kept getting all these audi auditions from these people. And a lot of, you really have to listen to your auditions first. You, you've got to, they, they send you, you have to put a script on OS ACX for them to audition. And then you sit back and wait for the auditions to come in. And I was getting auditions every day. And oh my God, I, I really want to do Fiona Quinn. I really want to do Fiona Quinn. Okay. And then it would be, Nathan, what are you doing? Da, 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 and it was as flat as a board. And I was like, oh my God. And they want me to pay them two to $400 and give them half of my royalties? Are they insane? And so it, 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 I was pretty stressed out by this. And anybody who I got who had any kind of a voice, any kind of a acting talent, they wanted two to four hundred dollars. And I was like, wait a minute, I just want to do royalty share. Oh, no, we don't do that. We don't we don't do that. And it was like, wait a minute, you know, you're going to get half the royalties. It's all that I'm getting. And I wrote the book. So finally, I got this this woman. I, I, I can't tell. I've seen her picture. I can't tell by picture of how she's so probably in 30. And she really wanted to do it. But she's a newbie. So, and she wanted royalty share, but she's a newbie. She had no books under her belt. So I told her, I said, you know, I've been doing this since 2016. A lot of different books, a lot of different narrators. I, I think I've had like five narrators or something. Yeah. Haven't I learned? Some and, good, some bad. Remember, there was a guy who said point wrong. He kept saying, oh my God. Pond, yeah, pond. And then he was mad because you wanted, you corrected him. Yeah, the, <laughs> the name of the book was um, To the Breaking Point, like oh. up on point shoes, because I used to be a dancer. Yeah. And they kept saying pont, pont through the whole book. And she put on her pont shoes. Pont. <laughs> and I was like, has this man never... He doesn't know what point shoes are. How can you go through life and not know what a point shoe is? And it's spelled like point, uh, with, just with an E on the end. I don't know where he was getting pont. So when he was, you know, done, I, I said, uh, listen, buddy, we got a problem here because it's point, not pont. Well, he sent me a scathing email that I can't go through that whole book and change all those words. And I said, yeah, you can and you will. Mm -hmm. So I... I sent him all the time signatures where this word appeared, which took me hours to do, of course, because that book 
was many hours long because that was one of my novel novels. That was one of your romantic suspense. Right. And those were novels, big novels. And yeah. um, he came back and said, oh, my God, I can't believe you put every one of these time signatures on. Thank you. And I'm like, what did you think I was going to do, buddy? So, you know, he was it was awful. But anyway. Yeah, then, and and now see that now uh, Mike Alger, who has been at do, doing my books for Royal Teacher, he sends me the chapters as he does them. See, I've never had one do that. I think yeah, I actually can different. listen to them as he does it. So if I can, if I notice something, I can send it right to him, and he can fix it right then and there. Right. Yeah. And I always when I I would have a a um, correction for Marin. You know, you do it just happens. Yeah. You give them the time signature because right along the bottom, it'll tell you where you're at in the book. I gave them the, or the time. I would say chapter one, time, sh time signature, three minutes and two seconds, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so she knew exactly where to go to make that correction. And so now I've got this young woman. This is her first book. And I'm training her. <laughs> and she, she seems very, very willing to learn. She wants to do this. And I told her straight up, I said, you know, it, royalty share, royalty share plus, it really doesn't matter. You're not going to make a living on this. Mm -hmm. You got to do this because you love it. And, mm -hmm. and that's just the truth. You know, you, you can't make a living on these audio books, but it's a nice thing to have your, your books on audio. And I even, I even taught Lauren. I said, Lauren, Listen to your audiobooks and you will hear things about your books with somebody reading them that you need to fix. Didn't yeah, I? I? I know I was listening to Two for Murder this weekend, mm -hmm. uh, which is a longer book. And it was, you know, and Mike Alger and his wife, Anita, because I had two storylines going on at once because it, it was a two for murder, two murder mm -hmm. mysteries in, right. one, in one book. And I actually noticed all that. That book was published how many years ago? Oh, yeah. It's an older book. And, and I've listened to it. And I've listened to it before. But now years later, listening to it, there was one section where there was a continuity error. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. You know. You will find them. Right. And yeah. you think, how did I do that? How did I? How did I? How did I, how did I do that? How did I? You know, and I was like, oh. You know, honestly, nobody else do. You know, now what I love about Mike, which nobody, because I've worked with a lot of different narrators too. Mike Alger will actually send me typos, oh. and you and the book is done by the time it's been proofread, it's been edited, but he will make and it's published because you cannot make a audio book unless the book is published. Yeah, it must be on on Amazon because ACX is an Amazon company. Yeah. So you know you can do it if it's available for pre-order. Pardon me. Uh, you can you can uh, he can get started if it's available for pre-order. Oh, I did not know that. Well, yeah. I've never so that. so you know, but but you know, and so so you know, but but you know, and uh, and if you do in the book, but the book has to be done because if you are if the book is being you know i don't send it until after it's done being proofread because otherwise you're going to have them fixing things while they're <laughs> so they're reading it and producing it and you're fixing things no 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 that doesn't go well that does i've done that doesn't go well <laughs> no. so yeah. i i don't i don't know um i'm writing the a the fifth honest mystery right now because I, I kind of am, am uh, regretting the title of the last Owl's Nest book, A Felonist Finale, because a lot of my readers and a lot of the reviewers took that as, <laughs> this is the last book of this series. And it, no, it was like a finale, like the end of a show that, you know, you know, it, 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 the, yeah, it took had nothing to do with the end of the series. So now I'm writing book number five, which is titled Long Lost Lies. And this one here is trying <laughs> to talk me into narrating it myself because yes. 
I'm I very good at the accents. And, you know, even, you know, I'm one of the head and readers you know at my church and they love my voice in church. And, and you know how you want it to sound, you know what right. you want, you know what you're, you know, but, but you have to learn things, you know, and, and now I am a big audiobook fan listening to. Yeah, because so I like to listen to books while yeah. I'm doing work, while I'm doing the I read stuff. Mm -hmm. And I have learned listening to other people's audio books, what you, you know, a bad narrator can ruin a book. Oh, a bad narrator will sink your ship. Yeah. And, you know, then you know, it's terrible. I love to listen to them while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's when I listen to audio books or if I'm baking. If I'm, you know, at Christmas time, I'll put on an air, I'll have my Echo uh, read an audio book to me while I'm doing some baking. But yeah, it's, it is something that, um, that yeah. is very worthwhile look into, but you know, I, it is hard to find that narrator. And then mm -hmm. when you lose that narrator, and unfortunately I lost mine to death, um, oh. it's, I, I hope not. You know, Mike goes scuba do diving. Maybe I should ask him not to stay right. on the shark infested waters. Yeah. Mike, I can't lose you. I can't lose you, Mike Alger. <laughs> there is spear with you. <laughs> but yes. Hey, listen, um, we will be back in a week. Uh, yeah. on, we always drop our episodes on Wednesdays at two o'clock. Uh, we don't have a subject chosen right now. We will go through our list of subjects and we will choose one. But we sure hope that you will, will join us and we doubly hope that you will like and subscribe oh, to subscribe. our channel. We oh. are. This is Lauren Carr and I am C.S. McDonald and we are Authors of the Cup. Authors of the Cup.